From the East Hall, Alexander hears the sounds of a door opening and a guard's footsteps trudging heavily down a flight of stairs. Alexander examines the suit of armor, but sees nothing. In the corner is a suit. In the corner. Alexander feels his pockets carefully, remembering what the little boy goes. A secret. Alexander hears the sound of voices coming from nearby. Alexander peers through the chink in the wall. Captain, I've been hearing rumors from the guards who've been watching the princess. They say lately she's been pounding on her door and begging to be let out. Ain't none of my business, sir, but news like that is upsetting the other dogs. Ain't no guard in the castle who would willingly keep the princess anywhere she don't want to be. <laughs> a Hazred claims that a foreign intruder is here to assassinate her. That's why she's got to be kept under lock and key right up until the wedding. Call me an old dog that can't learn new tricks, but I say the princess should be the one given the orders. Al-Hazred has been in charge for months, what with the king's death and Kasima's mourning. Tonight, the wedding will seal it, and there's nothing we can do about it. Like him or not, he's our liege. Need I remind you of your oath to the crown? Aye, we've an oath. For the sake of the princess, we'll not be forgetting it. He'd just better treat her well. Speaking of the wazir, what do you reckon he's keeping in that magical room of his? It's not a magic room. It's just the door he's enchanted somehow. I say he's still got the royal treasury in there, along with whatever else he's so eager to protect. Not even the court treasurer is allowed in there anymore. I heard him in the hall the other day. He was speaking of that door. Black magic is what I say. I heard him say, Ali. But then Bay came up and started yapping at me. Yeah, Enough! It is not our place to question the practices of our liege, no matter how strange. The wedding will be starting soon. Report to the throne room when you hear the music start. That was a climb. Alexander hears the faint sound of a woman crying nearby. Alexander hears the sound of scratching coming from the other side of the wall. Alexander looks through the chink in the wall. Dear Shadrach, salutations from the Society of the Black Cloak, etc., etc. My long preparations are about to come to fruition. In a matter of minutes, I will wed the lovely <laughs> Kasima. Once I've established my power and my crown, I can stage another accident. The princess has proven infuriatingly stubborn, as you know. She's becoming quite a dangerous little thorn in my side. In a way, it is a shame I have to kill her. She is lovely and would be amusing to keep around, but I can't risk her talking treason to one of the guards. So far, I've managed to keep her locked away, but I can't continue that forever. Well, on to it now. I'd send her to you, but as you know, I had no luck in doing so with Mordak. I close in triumph. King Abdul Alhazred. And now to see to the final preparations. It's almost time for the wedding. <laughs> Thank you. 
The wazir's words fill Alexander with blazing anger and fear for Cosima's life. That blackguard! That murderous swine! He'll not have his way if I have anything to say about it! Alexander sees lots of black cloaks. Alexander opens the ebony box and looks inside. Inside the ebony box is a piece of paper with the word Zebu printed on it. Alexander inserts the skeleton key in the trunk's lock and turns it. He hears a click. Alexander opens the trunk. Alexander picks up the most recent letter and examines it. The letter is addressed to Abdul Al-Hazred from the wizard Shadrach. It reads, Greetings to a brother of the Black Cloak. I was sorry to hear of Great Mordak's death, though he was a bit of a ninny at chess. It seems the plans for that little kingdom of yours are coming along. I must congratulate you on your handling of the king and queen. Isolating the island so that no protest could develop was another brilliant stroke. It looks like there's not much left to stand in your way. Do as I recommended with the girl, and you shall have your crown. That fiend! Alexander crawls back through the wardrobe to reach the secret passage. Alexander hears the faint sound. Alexander peers through the chinks in the wall trying to locate the source of the crying sounds. Alexander's palms begin to sweat and his heart to race. It's Cosima. He's phoned her. Psst! Princess Cosima! What? Who's there? It is I, Alexander. I'm here behind this wall. My, how suave that sounds. Alexander? It really is you! Oh, I knew you were close by, but how did you get inside the castle walls? It's a long story and not important now. You did get my ring. Oh, yes. It has brought me such comfort, Alexander, to know you were close by and had not forgotten. But you shouldn't be here. You're only endangering yourself. I'm afraid I'm not the only one in danger. Princess, be brave. I've heard such vileness today, such evil. What is it? al Hazred. He is not what he appears. I've known that for years, Alexander. But with mother and father gone, I'm afraid there's no stopping him. But tell me of what evil you speak. I have been so afraid for my kingdom, not knowing what he plans. The kingdom is in trouble, but the real threat at the moment is to your safety, Princess. Al-Hazred has such plans. You don't want to wed Al-Hazred, do you? How can you ask? Of course not. If you do not wish to marry him, Cosima, you shall not, I promise you. But we must get you out of here now. You are not safe. But Abdul would tear the castle apart if I were to disappear from my room. You shall have to do what you can to delay his plans from your end. I can't just leave you here. Alexander, do not despair for me. I have been safe in this room for nearly six months now. Abdul can be in no hurry, whatever he plans. After all, I'm to be his bride, am I not? 
I have been planning too, you see. I believe I can escape. If I can only get a chance to lay my hands on a weapon, there might be an opportunity in the hustle of the wedding. But I... Shh, just a moment more, then you must go. Let us not waste time with words. Please, let me just look at you, dear Alexander. I found this letter in the Wazir's bedroom. I... I think you should know what it says. I can't believe it! I had my suspicions, but this confirms everything. Alexander, you must keep the letter. He might have a chance to show it to someone who can help you stop Alhazred. Just be careful. Here, take this dagger. It's not much, but it might come in handy. Why, it's perfect. This is just the sort of thing I've been looking for. Thank you, Alexander. I'll keep it close and use it if I must. Alexander stands in the secret passageway. Oh no! Someone's coming! The lock on Cosima's door rattles abruptly. Alexander, hurry! Step away before they see you! Alexander hears scuffling and a woman's brief cry from the other side of the wall. Then, silence. Since the door on the west wall has no visible knob or handle, Alexander decides to try to open it with his voice. He composes his words carefully. Having chosen his word, the door, Alexander doesn't see... Since the door on the west wall has no visible knob or handle, Alexander decides to try to open it with his voice. He composes his words carefully. Listen, door. I would have you open. Ali Zebu. It worked. Alexander pulls the drapery aside, curious as to what might lie underneath. On the table is a... That must be the Isle of Wonders singing stone. Didn't the queens think that the beast had stolen it? On the table is a fleece made of gold. That fleece must belong to the winged ones. And they thought the Isle of Wonder had taken it. On the table is a coat of arms with the head of a beast on the crest. Hmm. Beast said that his coat of arms was stolen by the druids. This must be it. On the table is a miniature oak tree. It looks very old. Hmm. That must be the sacred miniature oak that the druids thought the winged ones stole. As Alexander looks at the objects on the table, he realizes the depth of the wazir's cunning. 
It must have been the wazir or an accomplice who stole that one thing most precious to each island and then leaked rumors that one of the other islands was responsible. What did the wazir have to gain by causing the islands to hate one another? Alexander hears the sound of, oh no. Alexander hears a door off the north hall. Alexander hears the sound. Wait. Alexander looks cautiously around the grand hall, but there are no guard dogs to be seen. The wedding music is coming from behind those two large doors. Wait! If you love your princess, you'll hear me out. The wazir is not what he appears to be. Kasima is in terrible danger. I have proof that this is so. For your princess's sake, you must believe me. Let me see that. Saladin reads the letter, his sword points still against Alexander's throat. Alexander watches the guard dog's noble face darken with rage. Mm, this is treason. I'll have his throat. But how do I know this letter is not a forgery? You could have written this yourself. But I did not! Have you no doubts of your own about our Hazred? Don't you see? All he wants is the crown. Kasima is being coerced. We must stop the wedding. It is true. I have had my suspicions about the wazir, especially when King Caliphim and Queen Alaria died. But I have seen Kasima with him several times. She appears to be quite happy, even enthusiastic. I don't believe she could love him if he truly were so wicked. I cannot believe for a moment that she loves that snake. A jilted lover would not believe it. But come, see for yourself. The captain of the guard leads Alexander into the throne room, where a ceremony seems to be in progress. Alexander feels his blood run cold at the sight. I, Kasima, declare Abdul al Hazred as my lawful and beloved husband and king of this realm. But, Kasima. Kasima, stop! Prince Alexander here? This is an outrage! How dare you allow this traitor to get past you, Saladin? You stupid mutt! Can't you even keep the castle free of assassins during your own princess's wedding? Kill him! Kill him now! <sighs> Lord al -Hazred, with all due respect, you are not quite king yet. And this is a wedding ceremony, not an execution. What? How dare you contradict me, you flea-bitten mongrel! I gave a direct order. Obey me, or feel my wrath. Milady, I apologize for my behavior, but I am yours to command in all things. I wanted merely to hear your own wishes from your own lips. Tell me what it is that you wish me to do with this young man, and I will obey. Why, Captain, you heard my dear Abdul. If he wishes this atrocious young man's death, then I want nothing more than to see him get his wish. Obey thy liege now and always. As you wish, Princess. Just as Saladin prepares to run Alexander through with his sword, a shout is heard from the direction of the Grand Hall. Hold! In the name of the true king! 
King Caliphim and Queen Alaria burst into the throne room, looking alive and well, and full of wrath. Behind them, a line of supporters looked prepared to battle, if necessary, for their beloved royal couple. Kasima, darling, are you all right? Has he hurt you? Hands off of her, you murderous goat! If I want your advice, I'll ask for it, mother. But, Caliphim, that's not Kasima. I'd know my daughter anywhere. What have you done with our daughter, you devil? The lovely image of Kasima suddenly bursts into smoke and is replaced by the Wazir's genie. Why, you, you conniving serpent! Get him, guards! Saladin, your sword! Drat it all! You may have ruined my plans, but you won't get me! Or your precious Kasima. Get them, Shamir! I command you! <laughs> He's getting away! Stop him! Yes, sire! As soon as I deal with this genie! I got this. Shamir, the wazir's genie, begins to throw balls of dazzling light at the guard dogs. Alexander, be careful! Al Hazard has a sword! Shut up, wench! Shamir Shamazel! Get in here! Here I am, master! It's about time, you bumbling fool! How could you let him follow me? Well, there were the guard dogs, master, and then... Never mind! Just kill him! Kill him now! <sighs> As you wish, master. Razzle, dazzle, snap and snazzle! Alexander, I did it! I swapped the lamps! Here, quick, take it! Bless you, Jalo. I knew you could do it! Now get clear, friend. No argument there, my lord. Good luck! Shamir Shamazel, hold your spells. I am your master now. I order you to go back into your lamp. How did you get my lamp? You thief! You... you... you've ruined me! My lamp! Oh, thank Balhalla! I hated working for that loathsome creature. I already feel his nastiness leaving me. How I've longed for a master like you. I've got a new master! I've got a new <laughs> master! So, you are a thief as well, Alexander. Stealing the lamp was very clever, I'll grant you that. But I am the master thief. Face my sword if you dare. The man left standing shall have the lamp. So shall it be, Al Hazred. I don't need the genie to deal with a coward like you. Inspiration. Alexander fixes upon the only weapon in sight. Zounds! This sword must weigh a ton. <laughs> Good. Then you shall only fail sooner, my prince. So, this mouse shall bite, as you shall soon see, or should I say, soon feel? Ha! You can barely lift that sword, my 
prince. Better to lay it down now. I promise to dispatch you with little pain. A tempting offer. But I think I'll wait and see you what this sword can do. Suit yourself. Alexander's arms start to tremble under the effort of wielding the huge sword. His muscles are nearing exhaustion. Ha! And so it ends! Not if I can help it, you murderer! Kasima thrusts the small dagger into Alhazred's shoulder with all her might. Ah! You! You dare raise a finger to me? You will regret that, princess. Kasima, are you all right? I'm fine, Alexander. I was just so afraid for you. There's no need to fear anymore, princess. Yes, I know. How can I ever repay you, for myself, for my kingdom? It was not in me to let harm come to you. Can you find it in you, princess, to give me more than your gratitude? Alexander, what are you saying? I love you, Kasima. Would you ever consider... Do you think you could... marry me? Could you ever have doubted it, my prince? Uh, ahem. Oh! Guards! Princess Kasima, are you well? I'm quite well, thank you. Please take Abdul and put him in the dungeon. See to it that he gets a doctor. Yes, Majesty. Kasima and Alexander ask Captain Saladin to perform their wedding ceremony. Saladin is honored to do so. On this historical day of great joy in the land of the Green Isles, we witness the union of Kasima, beloved princess of this realm, and Alexander, Prince of Daventry. Do you, Prince Alexander of Daventry, take Princess Kasima to be your wife, to love and to cherish for as long as you both shall live? I do. And do you, Princess Kasima of the Land of the Green Isles, take Prince Alexander to be your husband, to love and to cherish, for as long as you both shall live? I do. Do you have a ring? I have Alexander's royal insignia ring. Very good. Please place the ring on Kasima's finger. Who gives this bride to be wed? Her mother and I willingly give our daughter's hand in wedlock. Who will speak for the groom? I will. Alexander's mother and I recognize his marriage to Princess Cosimo with glad hearts and sanction this union. Then, Alexander and Cosima, I now pronounce you man and wife. You may kiss the bride. Hooray! 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 Hooray!
Congratulations, my children. I have an important question for you both. Please hear me. Yes, sire? Alexander, I welcome you into our family with open arms. I place trust in Alhazred because I so badly wanted a son and a husband for my beloved daughter. I was wrong. But you are true and good, Alexander. You have proven yourself to all my people. Thank you, sire. Olaria and I have been through much. Even though we have returned to our kingdom, I do not think we are able to reign again. Will you two consider the crown? I know as king and queen, you can heal this small kingdom from all the damage that Alhazred has inflicted upon it. Oh, father! Why, I'm honored. What do you think, Kasima? I love my homeland, Alexander. I would be happy to stay and serve it all my days. Father, I believe I'm needed here. Would you be very disappointed if... Son, you must follow your destiny. I do believe the land of the Green Isles needs you. You'll be a magnificent king, though dearly missed in Daventry. Then, I accept. Oh, my boy, what a man you've become. And how I will miss you. Don't worry, Mother. With Shamir's powers, we'll be able to visit often. I'm not about to forget my family. Mm, congratulations, Alexander. I'm so proud of you. Thank you, dear sister. Oh, Alexander, I'm so glad. Between the return of my beloved parents and our new reign, you've made me so happy. I'm glad I could make up for some of your suffering, my beautiful wife. Congratulations, King Alexander. When we return home to Daventry, your crew will be glad to hear that their battle at sea was worthwhile in bringing forth a new they monarch. Make it back? We were so worried when your men arrived home without you, son. I'm so thankful that you are safe and happy. And I am as grateful that my crew did not pay for my driven heart. You have only brought us all good fortune, sire. With Shamir saved and his power used for good, reuniting the islands will be far easier. He has already repaired the ferry. Your road will be easier now that the islands are no longer feuding. Already the wounds are starting to heal. Yes, my love. Discovering the island's stolen treasures has done more to bring peace to this land than anything else. It is now clear that Alhazred had Shamir steal each of the island's most valued treasures, then blame the thefts on others to cause the islands to hate each other. Now let us celebrate our good fortune. The evil that has plagued this land is done, and a new reign begins. Long live King Alexander and Queen Cosima. Long live King Alexander! Long live Queen Cosima! Long live the land of the Green Isles! Hooray! 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 He's stuck in a curse. That was a long curtsy she had there. Okay, that was loud. I wish Roberta Williams would update these you games. Seem so far. I like these games. I, just need I mean, I know they put out a prequel voice. game, but I would like to see more of this type of game continue. I just need.